This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Sienna Colley back with me. You're the program coordinator of our Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. Welcome back. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining me today, too. We are taping today on March 8th, which is International Day of the Women. So I'm so glad and so blessed that I get to be surrounded by strong women like yourself. So thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> so we, we, I, I got a hold of you because I saw you had an event, but you've got much more going on. So let's start. We, I, I got a hold of you because of St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yeah, so um, we've decided since thankfully we can open up and do some things now that uh, over the March break on St. Patrick's Day, so Thursday, March 17th, we're going to host a children's uh, day camp. So it starts from 9 and it goes until 2 p.m. And we're going to do, it's all St. Patrick's Day themed, which is super fun. So we're going to be making some slime. Uh, if the weather permits, we'll hopefully get outside to play for a little bit too, go on a kind of gold coin scavenger hunt. And it's for ages uh, 6 to 12. Our registration is still open. So if people want to uh, register or are interested, um, they can go to our Facebook to learn a little bit more, but they can also contact us and we can send them um, the registration form there is a little package that they have to sign uh, to do with COVID protocols and things like that as well. But um, we do still have spots open and it's uh, $25 for the whole day. And that's during March break as well. Yes, it is during March break. So that's what we were thinking. Some of the, the kids will be off school and parents might be looking for something to get them into. And uh, we thought St. Patrick's Day would be a fun way to celebrate. So Awesome. Now, how do people get a hold of you to be able to register? So they can give us a call at 613-283-6311 and we can give them some more information over the phone. Um, but they can also send us an email at heritagehouse at smithfalls.ca and we can just forward the registration package to them as well. Um, we are in and out of uh, the museum right now too. So if they give us a call and want to come by and pick up the form, that's totally okay as well. Um, and our Facebook's always open as well for their, our Facebook inbox um, messages. So they can message through there and we can send the form over there as well. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Now, I, I know you got a few things going on, and I just this one just came to me, and I just wanted to mention it. You guys had a great day with the pictures for Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun day. And did we ever get a good weather, like good weather for it? It snowed just before uh, it, the day started, so it was a fresh blanket of snow, and Santa was great, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We had the horse-drawn kind of like wagon sleigh rides too, so it was really great, yeah. It was a beautiful day, a beautiful day. Now you've got uh, another event, uh, March of the Museums. What What is that all about? Yeah, so that's great. Um, it's actually a big project uh, done through CAM, which is the Kingston um, Association of Museums and Galleries. So uh, we have a lovely coworker here who actually used to uh, run the program. So we uh, thought we'd participate in it this year. So uh, the idea behind that is that um, a few participating sites throughout Kingston and the area um, get together these craft bags. So they provide most of the materials other than usually like coloring and pencils and things like that. Um, and then people can register to actually pick up um, the craft packages and then take them home if they want to. Um, and they can make the crafts at home with instructions on the website. Uh, there are a few Kingston sites that are actually doing in-person crafts as well. I believe the deadline has actually passed to be able to register to pick up your um, bag since it's actually this Thursday and this Friday to pick them up. Uh, but all of the museums have actually posted their craft instructions um, and videos to go with them. So if you're at, sitting at home and looking for some fun crafts to do, you can go on to there and like, for example, our uh, craft materials are all like recyclable materials that you'd have at home, like toilet paper rolls, uh, paper, things like that. So uh, if you have the materials laying around, you can absolutely still do the crafts even if you missed the registration. So if you go to the Kingston um, Association of Museums website or their Facebook page, so it'll be if you search CAM, K-A-M, um, you'll be able to find all those craft instructions as well. Excellent, excellent. Now you've got another one coming up too. You're going to be putting on a display too. Let's talk about that one. Special today yeah. because uh, today is International Day of the Women, of Women. Yeah, it was actually perfect so uh, that we we're talking today because I thought it would be a great chance to talk about it. So uh, with uh, International um, Women's Day and for the month, we thought we'd start it this month as well because it's uh, pertinent. Um, but we're throwing up uh, or putting on a exhibit about the notable women of Smith Falls. Um, we're thinking about it um, 
that we've been thinking about it for a while and uh, we're really excited to do it because we have a lot of women co-workers here as well. And uh, the idea is that people in the area can actually nominate um, some women that they think would be a great addition to the exhibit. So uh, we will be throwing up a survey on our Facebook page um, and people will have to go on and uh, you'll just have to provide your name and then your nomination's name and then a description of why your nominee should be included. So there is a little bit of criteria. They have have to have um, an influence either like culturally, environmentally, academically, politically, lots of different things. Um, and they have to be known internationally or nationally or locally. So it can't just be through Smith Falls, but they have to have some sort of impact. Um, so we will be looking at them. Unfortunately, we can't, we won't be able to include everyone in the exhibit just for space wise, but um, we're excited to see what some people uh, and some who's nominated as well, so. Wow, wow, now can you only nominate one person or are you, can you nominate more than that? No, you can nominate more than one person, that's totally okay, but, and like I said, uh, if we get a lot of submissions though, uh, you might, they might not make it, but we're really excited to read them nonetheless, so. Awesome, that's that's great to have some recognition to sort of some great women around here too. Oh so, yeah, absolutely. So speaking of nominations, I just thought of something else. You, our, our museum was nominated for a, uh, a favorite museum in the 2022 Ottawa Faces Mega Yes, that was super exciting. Actually, Wasn't it? it was really, it was really nice uh, seeing our name up there with all the museums in Ottawa too. So it was great to get that recognition. And I know we had some people that were voting for us every day. So it was really exciting um, to see us up there because, I mean. It, Due to COVID, we haven't been really open as much as usual with tours, but we've still been able to put on some great events. And I think uh, the community really appreciated that. So uh, it was great to see us nominated, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations for that. Thank uh, you. We, we, uh, it's, we were talking about COVID here. What does the summer, the spring and summer look like as we're starting to plan things? So we're hoping to open up. Um, I know previous years we weren't really open in the spring. Um, it was more the summer that we were able to have people. We are we are hoping um, in the spring to open up at uh, some point. We are actually going to be opening up for researchers kind of near uh, the end of March or beginning of April by appointment. Um, and they can come in and use our genealogy lab. Uh, and then we're still kind of planning on when we're going to be opening to the public. But for the summer, we've still got plans to do the uh, the Children's Day camps one week in July and one week in August. Uh, Movies Under the Stars is still, we're in the planning modes for that and uh, several other events. So we're going to run it kind of like it's a, a normal summer, which we have been doing for the past few years, just with all the uh, protocols and guidelines in place. So. Excellent, excellent. So we've got an event coming up uh, during March break, uh, March 17th, right on St. Patrick's Day yeah. too. So uh, maybe we can uh, just tell the folks how to get a hold of you if you want to register your children. Yes, absolutely. So you can send us an email at heritagehouse at smithsfalls.ca. Uh, you can send us a message on our Facebook page, which is the Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. Uh, or you can give us a call at 613-283-6311. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us again, Sienna. Sienna Colley from our Heritage House Museum here in Smith Falls, the Port Program Coordinator. And let's say it's, it's uh, we're looking forward to a better year. Uh, things are opening up. And here we got our first event coming up March 17th. So give them a call. Absolutely. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Sienna. Mm -hmm.